Hello everybody, my name is Mike Parson, and this is who I am. I was born in this hospital, in this city, on this day. In the last 20 years, I've seen the city change, grow, develop, and become sort of a mecca. Even though it still has its status as theme park capital of the world. This has been my home. Always will be. Even though I did move with my mom across the Seminole County border for a time, and then back to East Orlando. What got me started in digital media, well, that's more or less intertwined with my interest in broadcast journalism. See, when I was like, yay high, I was absorbing every frame of that television. The stations we have here, well, they're not exactly market number one, but they're not the worst. We have the big gorilla, we have the second in command, we have the one still trying to find its way, and we have the network going up. To me, all of them have something to offer. The two aspects of digital media that interest me the most, opening sequences and news graphics. Opening sequences, opening credits, they have the potential to become synonymous with the program for years, maybe even decades. If you need an example of the best known opening sequence for news, look to WPVI. Action News, Delaware Valley's leading news program with meteorologist Adam Joseph, Keith Russell, and Bob Jennings. This type of opening sequence actually dated back to the late 1970s, and it's never faltered since. Television news graphics, they help set the tone for the newscast too. WSVN South Florida, they've been leading the tabloid cheer since 88. Their news graphics match the tone. WBZ, however, has tried a softer approach and their newscast that matched the tone. And of course, we can't forget the station group graphics, which started with Hearst, then Gannett, then CBS, and, well, it's all a mess. I don't have a favorite single graphic designer, but I have a favorite firm. It's called Hout House Creative. It's based off of Dallas. They've been doing news graphics, opening program graphics, and what have you for a long time and they never fail to disappoint. Hot House has the potential of making any program, news or specialty, the best ever. At the same time, it also matches the points that make the program what it is. If you're looking for a favorite movie, I would have to say The Social Network. It may be a little bit fictionized, but it tells a story about how Facebook came to be and the end result for everybody involved. As for any charges stemming from the breach of security, I believe I deserve some recognition. A motion graphic designer, as far as I'm concerned, needs to have an eye for detail. Right down to the last frame, because if you don't have that, you're pretty much screwed. You need to have a certain imagination. Like, you shouldn't have to rehash things just because they're easy. Go for what works for the program, not for yourself. I don't know if I would have any other creative talents. I've edited on Sony Vegas for years. I've uh, recently dabbled into Adobe Premiere Pro. And, of course, everybody starts out on a movie maker. It's actually those programs that helped me get by in high school. For a time, I produced the opens for my morning announcements. Kind of, the, type, the types of projects that I would like to work on, well, like I said, openings and news graphics. And if it helps, maybe the occasional brand refresh. I see myself as being one of three things. A great video editor, a great motion graphic designer, the next Bill Bonds. What will set me apart from others in the field? the eye for detail, the imagination, and getting things done. I want to get things done no matter what. No matter what. Think about this. If you don't change, you don't adjust, you go bye-bye.